What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. Today what we're going to be discussing is how you should have your lineup as far as a running back position goes in Madden Ultimate Team to help you get, you know, to punch the ball in inside the red zone. Now, the reason that this came up was because somebody had a very, very interesting point. With running backs that are available like Eddie George or uh, a Leonard Fournette, it probably seems more likely that they will get the trucking animations down low in the red zone that these guys that I have as the more elusive backs won't get. So I was asked, you know, Jemai, why do you keep, you know, Saquon Barkley there? Why do I keep Tariq Cohen? What's going on? All right, primarily this is what happens, right? Ricky Williams is the best running back in Madden Ultimate Team. I don't care what anybody says. We could debate it. You could do whatever. He's the most versatile. And at the point where he is right now with a 70 catching, he does catch the ball out of the backfield very, very well. Saquon Barkley, in addition, has a 74 catching, but it doesn't show it right there because, you know, I'm not on him. And then you have Tariq Cohen that has a 74 catching. Why do I do that? I do that because it's more likely that I'm going to play a psychopath that's going to be running linebacker cross out of 3-3-5 odd, and I might need to get the ball out to the flat. So the lower catching stats for the running backs don't allow them to catch the ball, and you'll get that animation where the ball just drops down on the ground. So all three of my running backs can catch the ball. The funny thing about it in addition is Devlin, his catching is also pretty decent, so he will catch it also. So for people that you know, don't really understand what I'm doing. Uh, I usually try to do that um, as like a secret thing because everybody thinks about Devlin as just like a big, you know, a bulky dude that, you know, he's only there for blocking, but he can actually catch. All right. Now that you guys understand that, right, I'm going to go because I have the power up for Eddie George. I'm going to show you guys uh, some different aspects of it because I can easily uh, get an Eddie George and, you know, try to figure out which one of these guys I'm going to bench for Eddie George. But we're going to go take a look at some of the things that come up with that. And then we'll also look at Leonard Fournette. Because remember, earlier in the year, I had Leonard Fournette before everything started popping. And he was really, really good. And his new upgraded card is also pretty good. You know, with the trucking and the spin move and everything like that. But let's take a look at the power-up aspect. Okay, and we're going to talk about that to try to give you guys some insight into why or if you should do that to get to punch it in because we all know it's very, very difficult to get the ball into the end zone. It's In this game, it's like hell on earth, all right? So look, let's go down to right before we power him up, right? So at this point right here, you can get him up to here before you have to, um, you know, get his actual card. So let's look at what's going on with him. Okay, so where is his trucking? He has an 88 trucking. You know, that that's probably the meta. Spin move is 80, stiff arm 89, elusiveness, juke move, impact blocking. Um... I don't, where, where, do we see anything about his catching stats though? Catching, catching. Okay, 64. So if I were to just use training points to do that, he's not at the threshold. Okay, he's not there for me to be able to, you know, if I needed to, to throw the ball to him, he's probably going to drop it in most cases. His trucking is pretty decent at 88. So, you know, once you get the, oh, let me go back to it. Once you get the actual card though, if you want it, because his card is very, very cheap and putting together his set is also pretty cheap. So would this be a good investment for you? Let's take a look at it. Okay, so the catch and steal is only a 66. Trucking goes to a 92. Spin move is at an 84. So no, because like I understand that you're looking for the trucking, but it's good to have the spin move as well. So Leonard Fournette might be the better back in this situation. Let's find out what's going on with that. Did I ever get a Leonard? Let me just go to team while I'm on power, power up so I can see the Jaguars. Do I have a Leonard Fournette? Okay, I do. All right, so let's go ahead and check it from here and see exactly what's going on. All right, so I think I have a power up pass, right? He has a, a could power up to 80, yeah, so I have a power up pass, so I probably could get all this stuff done up to this point, and then just have to get his item right here, which is this, but let's take a look at it, his catching is a 67, right, that would be a 68, um, you know, with uh, John Madden coach, and then his spin move is an 88, so he's also at the threshold, you see what I'm saying, so this guy would probably be the better guy to have in at that point, in my opinion. All right, you can see his juke move is 86, all that stuff like that. So he's not a bad guy to have in for that position. He actually, with his speed as a 90 and having all those things going on, he's a very, very suitable back uh, to utilize, all right? Now, the only thing that makes me want Saquon Barkley in my lineup more is that that catching is very, very huge, and I can't be mad if he drops it. So I would be pretty much investing into a card that's only going to be there for me in the red zone. Um, now... Is that something that I should do? Is that something that's important? When you look at Ricky Williams, Ricky Williams pretty much has all of these things because he meets all of the thresholds. His catching being at 70, his trucking is pretty high, and he has a crazy spin move, juke move, all that stuff. So when you look at it like this, 
Is it something that you might want to do? I think it's highly possible that it would benefit someone to do that. As, as Why is Jalen Ramsey here? What, what is he doing here? Did, I didn't sell him. Oh, he's only going for 4K? All right, don't worry about it. We'll leave him there. You never know, bro. We, we might. Yeah, he's trash, though, in the game. But again, let's go take a look at what Ricky will... Why did I leave out of there? Because I have... I, I, oh, probably because I put the team on. So let's go right there. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about as far as Ricky Williams goes, right? So when you look at Rick, Ricky Williams and you look at his numbers, right? Carrying 93, that doesn't really matter because he'll get stripped from behind with the same stupid animation. But he has a 92 trucking, a 92 elusive, 70 catching, okay? Then when you go down through uh, everything else that we just finished talking about, as far as his elusiveness is a 92, stiff arm is a 96, and his spin move is a 91, so he and a 90 juke move. So you could literally, if you grind out to level 60, have everything in one running back. That's what I'm trying to make more or less make you guys understand is that you don't really need to uh, go out of your way to add additional cards unless it's something that's absolutely necessary for you. So what I'm going to do right now is this. We're going to go into this game and um, it's pretty much we're going to we're going to just like kind of sim through it. And I'm going to put I'm going to see. I think you can use Leonard Fournette. And I'm going to give you an idea of what's going on. But remember, even his core elite card was very, very good at, at the beginning of the year. His core elite card was absolutely unbelievable. The only reason I upgraded was he was too slow at that point, And I needed more speed. Plus, Ricky Williams was getting elevated and continued to, um, you know, to grind up. So that was working as well. With that being said, it's a lot of other things that go into the running back you should actually be using in Madden Ultimate Team. Now, an all-purpose back like Ricky Williams, what EA Sports did was they fixed it because last year it was really bad with LaDainian Tomlinson. LaDainian Tomlinson was a trash can. So they made the level master this year completely free. All you have to do is grind out, you know, play in the game, and it, it really works. It's, benef it's beneficial for you, okay, but you have to play a lot. You have to play a lot to get it maxed out, but they've absolutely made it worth it. So when you think about it along those lines, I think in the best case scenario, you grind out and get the Ricky Williams because he's going to give you the most without having to spend anything. Um, is it going to cause you a lot of heartache? More than likely it will. Okay, here goes Fournette. We're going to put him in the game. Um, is, it's going to definitely cause you a lot of heartache. What am I talking about? What, yeah, listen. This game is very, very dangerous, and a lot of wild things will happen. But I don't want you guys to misconstrue the fact that even though Leonard Fournette is a big back, he's still, you know, he, you see what I'm saying? Like, he'll spin move, he'll do stuff like that. Now, remember, keep in mind, this is arcade mode, so a lot of that was excessive. But if they can spin move in arcade mode like that, they can spin move in the real game. Okay, just keep, I'm just trying to point that out so you understand. All the excessive broken tackles after he did the first spin move, that's all going to be fake. That won't happen more. Sometimes it'll happen in competitive mode. It just depends on how EA wants to do you drive. You know what I'm saying? It just depends. But he is he's a guy that you can do that with. Now, what we're going to also do is when you're one-on-one, -on -one, right, and a guy is just asking to be trucked, you can truck him. But Ricky Williams also can do that. So you're stuck in a position where it's like, okay, what am I really getting? Because, yeah, he can truck like that, but Ricky Williams also does that. Okay? So Ricky Williams can truck. He can spin and he's very elusive, and he can juke move. So in my case, with my three running backs, plus I told you I got the rising star Cohen, so if I want to, um, you know, I like do a dual chem with somebody or whatever, I can take away chemistries and add it to Cohen to make my team even more, um, you know, even more glitchy if I wanted to. Those are things that you guys have to understand. It's very, very interesting the way the game's makeup is and how, you know, not being able to catch the ball can be really, really huge. And I've already tried it with with backs that can't really catch and it's not a good look which is why what when, when somebody when you present when you present to me a very very interesting question that i believe can help a lot of users that are going to be playing madden ultimate team i'm going to address it to the best of my ability and that's something that i felt that you know you guys needed to know about i don't know how deandre just, deandre hopkins just dropped that ball because first of all you shouldn't drop it because it's arcade mode and second of all you had the ball in your hands bro like what are you doing but it doesn't really matter Okay, it doesn't really matter. It's arcade mode, so I'm going to just throw the ball up in the traffic this time again, and then we're going to see what happens. All right, you caught it that time. All right, cool. So those are the things that you really probably should address and understand. If you want to throw the ball to the flat because you're playing a psychopath that's running live back across, and you just don't know what to do, you're like, yo, this guy is just the biggest idiot possible. If those things are happening to you, then you're going to want to make some changes. Okay, you're going to want to probably... 
put in put you know you're gonna probably want to grind for Ricky Williams. You're gonna probably want to get that Saquon Barkley. Uh, maybe have a backup to Tariq Cohen, stuff like that. Because if you stop paying attention to that, that that will definitely um, influence what happens within the game. And as far as you can see, Leonard Fournette, you know that trucking, very very serious business. But how much is that going to get you outside of the red zone when you need somebody in the flat that can catch the ball? Okay, now looking at Barkley, Barkley can catch the ball. He doesn't really have that high of a truck, but he's elusive and he can spin. So those things in the open field are very, very huge. Okay, those are very, very huge uh, attributes to have. So I would highly recommend uh, grinding for Ricky Williams. Um, if you didn't complete the uh, rookie premiere um, in Madden 18 or you just didn't play Madden 18, you probably won't have a free Saquon Barkley like I do or like many of my other viewers do that have been riding with me uh, since forever, which I really appreciate. You probably don't have that luxury. Um, another question that I get asked, should you buy him? Should you complete the set? That's up to you, okay? I don't know if you know what's in your budget. I don't know how it's working out for you and what you're doing uh, to, to be, you know, I, I'm not in your pocket, so I don't know how, if it's gonna be, you know, something that you can actually do or not. So if you can do it, um, it is something that would make sense to be done if you could do it, but it's not something that I would highly recommend if you can't, you know what I'm saying? If you just don't have the means to do it, it's not even about all that. All right, yeah, yeah, just, just throw it up, just throw it up, man. Just do whatever you want, man. Like, I don't even know how you had that much time. What, what, Miller, what are you doing? Why, why are you taunting, bro? You don't know that this is penalties now? Like, what are you doing right now? He, I don't think this guy realizes that there's penalties for that now. The, the NFL don't play that. Why is Von Miller in coverage? Well, it doesn't matter. You have to play with their team uh, in this mode. So that's pretty much what's going on. All right, good play, good play. All right, fumble the ball. Good job, man. All right, so now we can just... Why do why they have three timeouts, though? Why do they have three timeouts? We're just going to take knees. Like, we don't really need to... Do we have, do we have to even move the ball? I don't think we need to do anything. Um, we could get one first down, two first downs. All right, we'll get two first downs and then complete this game. But that's primarily what I want you guys to experiment with. Understand the fact that Leonard Fournette is primarily a guy that's going to truck the life out of people. That's what he's going to do. Okay? He's eligible at the threshold with 88 spin move to get spin moves off. But he's not the ideal elusive back that you're going to want. In the red zone, though, I will give you this. As most of you guys know, if you play against a guy that has Leonard Fournette in his lineup, he's going to truck you and there's nothing you can do about it. And I know all of us has experienced that because I did personally in weekend league. He trucked me and I woke up in the asylum, bro. Like He just really just ran right through my entire uh, defensive line and just did whatever. Those things are going to happen. Okay, that's going to happen. It's nothing you can do about it. But I don't think it's that big of a deal because it doesn't happen that often. Let me explain. If you know that a guy is a psycho and he's going to be doing that, uh, like like all those type of trucking animations, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to strafe and try to conservative tackle him. Usually with the conservative tackle, you'll be able to make that play. Okay, usually with the conservative tackle. So it's not a big deal like that because that's what I do. I just strafe up and wait for it to happen. And then I just, you know what I'm saying? I conservative tackle him. And usually EA doesn't read me, but I can't guarantee it every time. It's impossible for me to guarantee it every time. So... What I would urge you guys to do is to make sure, because a lot of you guys were really high on Fournette, like, yo, bro, he's good, he's good, he's good. I understand that you think he's really, really good, but I need a, I need an every down back. I don't want to be trying to sub in and sub, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to do all that. I wanted to be like, yo, all right, you in? All right, you good. Like, Ricky Williams stays in. He's pretty, like, pretty much, unless he gets tired, he'll be able to spin move anybody at any time. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what it is. I don't know why this idiot just went out of bounds. I tried to stop right there on the dime, but it doesn't matter. Um... I don't really want... I'm, I'm, just, I'm just going to fall on the ground. Let them call their timeout. How much time will they have left after I do that? Just fall on the ground. Fall on the ground. All right. So they got... They're going to have two. So we could get rid of like 60 seconds. So they're going to have a little bit of time left. Because the clock, for some reason, doesn't wind down on fourth down. Only when the computer does it, it winds down, which is kind of stupid. But it doesn't matter. That's neither here nor there. We'll just go ahead and do this and get that down. And then we'll go from there. And that's pretty much it. All right. So now with that being said, what we're going to do is this. We're going to now... I'm going to leave it in your hands to figure out, all right, look, should I go, should I do that? Should I go and invest in Leonard Fournette just for trucking in the red zone when Ricky Williams will do the same exact thing? Should you guys do that? Okay. That's what I want you guys to think about because I don't think, I don't think that it's something that you should do, that you should invest in a whole nother card when you have Ricky Williams. But if you do not have Ricky Williams, I, I don't know what to tell you, man, because he's the best. He's the, he's by far like I, I can't like. I can't tell you anything bad about what that guy does. He he will fight for you 
he will do ridiculous things that are, you know, pretty much cheating in the game. Um, I, I, I really can't say anything bad about him, man. So if that's what you guys are looking for, I really can't, I, I can't, I can't acknowledge anything that he's doing that I don't really like as far as that goes. So, all right, fumble the ball. All right, that's game. All right, and that's pretty much it, guys. So I don't think it's worth it. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, if you don't have a Tariq Coleman, if you, if you have a spot, if you have a spot at your third running back position, then you can go ahead and do it. But keep in mind, like I said, because of his catching stats being under 70, that may influence it. Now, what could you do about that? You can upgrade through uh, getting, uh, you know, like the Jacksonville Jaguars coach, the stadium, the uniforms, and get his catching up that way. And then when he meets the threshold at 70, you can have him as a suitable back. But I'm comfortable with the players that I have right now at that position, if that makes any sense. If you have any further um, questions, you can hit me up on Instagram and look at some of my most recent memes about Madden 19. If it's funny to you and if it's happened to you, go ahead and leave a comment. Hit me up on Twitter at GMilesWorld. Like me on Facebook. And I'm going to see you guys and girls next time, man. One love.